Guahan Turfco teeing off on the General Services Agency with Turfco appealing the so-called emergency procurement of golf carts awarded to Guam Auto Spot in June of this year. The agency report from GSA shows that on June 14th, GSA issued a request for, quote, seeking golf carts. GSA setting a June 17, 5 p.m. deadline for, quote, submissions. There was no delivery date included in the RFQ. Instead, GSA informed bidders on June 14th that the preferred ETA of golf carts was 30 days from the date of the purchase order award. Now, we'll come back to that later. Three companies responded to the RFQ, Turfco, Royal Pacific Motors, and Guam Auto Spot. Now, according to its appeal, Turfco prepared its quote for golf carts, anticipating the 30-day delivery timeline GSA laid out in its original RFQ. However, on June 16th at 5.43 p.m., after working hours and a day before submissions were due, GSA sent an email to the companies changing the parameters of the request, writing, quote, Please note that this is an emergency procurement and delivery required is immediate. On June 22nd, Turfco requested information on which company was awarded the PO for golf carts. And even though those docs show Turfco was the lowest bidder, GSA instead awarded Guam Auto Spot. GSA informed Turfco that Auto Spot was selected because they could deliver the golf carts immediately. A change made by GSA the day before quotes were due and after all offerers had prepared their bids. Documents show only Autospot's quote said it could deliver carts immediately. GSA denied Turfco's appeal and a notice to appeal was filed with the Office of the Public Auditor on July 9th. Autospot sold six golf carts to the Governor's Office on July 2nd for $73,970. In Turfco's appeal, Council Josh Walsh questioned why golf carts needed for vaccination clinics would be directed to the governor's office when Adeloupe has no procuring authority. Walsh argues, quote, altering bid specs just hours before the end of the bid invitation period and after confirming a 30-day delivery period and after all parties prepared their bids calls into serious question the fairness of the procurement. He added that GSA's after business hours change to the specs served to, quote, guarantee an award to Autospot. Walsh also questioned whether or not emergency procurement was needed, saying GSA provided no legal or factual reason why 15 months after the first COVID emergency declaration, they needed to conduct this emergency procurement for golf carts after deciding a normal procurement with a normal delivery time frame was a mistake. GSA said it needed the six golf carts to transport elderly and disabled at vaccination sites, but Walsh countered that an emergency wasn't justified because Gov Guam had already spent six months vaccinating senior citizens. Turfco's appeal hearing is scheduled for September 16th. Meanwhile, GSA docs submitted to the Guam legislature show GSA purchased $330,000 in ATVs and SUVs from Autospot in June and August of 2020 using emergency procurement and sole source purchases. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.